here with men's soccer coach Pete Watkins. Coach, a tough loss to McAllister uh, on Wednesday, a 3-2 defeat when they score in the last few seconds. But when you watch that game, and I hope I'm not over-speaking, but that was a great men's soccer game Wednesday night. Yeah, I think for NCAA Division Three men's soccer, it was a great match, a great advertisement, if you will, for the sport. And I was really happy with our guys' response. You know, you go 2-0 down to a really good team like that. And our response was fantastic, and our compete level was really high, and that, that was great to see. You know, yeah, it was a great game to be a part of. Um, you know, you always hate to come out on that side of the outcome, um, but really, that was kind of a bonus game for us. You know, they're obviously sitting above us in the standings. Um, they're in a situation where they'll probably end up, you know, one or two seed. So it was a chance to take points, and we didn't, which is unfortunate. But I think the guys also realize, you know, we can play with anybody if we bring that compete level and that mentality to the game. Uh, there's nobody that we can't play with. You know, it seems as as you watch that game that you guys are really playing with a lot of confidence. It, it's it and it exudes from every player. It's like it's like there's there's this switch that you guys have flipped this year that that has changed kind of the personality of the way you guys are playing. Yeah, I think uh, you look at some of our guys, Jared Wolt, Sean Butcher. You know, some of those types of leaders, Nate Levy. You know, they realize you know we're we're always the underdog, and that's that's just us. So we're ready for that. And they go into matches realizing we have nothing to lose. And so it's fun to watch them kind of reach, I think, their top level of performance because they're not worried about the performance. They're worried about going out and just competing. And when they do that, it's really been fun to watch. And you mentioned two people that I'd kind of like to single out a little bit, and that being Jared Walt and, and Sean Butcher. Sean now has scored in the last two games. He's mm -hmm. providing that offense that really kind of Jared did last year. Now you've got Jared in a new position again this year. He seems to be very interchangeable for you in terms of, of what he does. Yeah, they're both very adaptable Division Three soccer players. You know, obviously Jared brings us some height and uh, certainly some qualities in terms of passing and, and heading the ball. You know, Sean is just a really good industrious soccer player. I think you play him in almost any role and he's going to bring a good level of performance. And frankly, he's done that for us. I think he's played every position but goalkeeper at some stage in his career. And really, I think, for you know, again, for Division Three soccer, that's pretty typical. You know, that's the... The experience we can offer young men that maybe are looking at a higher level of Division One or Division Two, but wait to play. These guys have been able to come in here and be impactful from their freshman year, you know, their first game, and uh, now that experience is paying off for both of them. Let's talk a little bit about Saturday. Uh, uh, really, as we get to the heart of the season now, with with uh, playoffs starting to become part of the conversation, a really big game on Saturday against St. Olaf. In that you're both tied in the in the conference standings with with ten points. So, uh, pretty important game in terms of playoff uh, scenarios. Yeah, it's an exciting opportunity. I mean, our guys are just really really excited for the chance to go out and uh, certainly control our destiny from a playoff picture. You know, there's games, but obviously we don't control any of the other fixtures in the league. Um, it's amazing how many ties you have, uh, no matter who's playing. So if we go out, and you know, our goal is always to get points, and especially on the road. Um, so I think it's just, again, our guys are the underdogs. They know that, and it's an exciting opportunity for them. Um, and we seem to always match up pretty, pretty well with St. Olaf, so I think it'll be a good game. 3.30 Saturday afternoon in Northfield against St. Olaf. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.